Okay guys, what's up? Strats here, and this is going to be a new tutorial, I know I haven't done one in a while, but um, this one's been suggested a few times, and uh, I haven't got an intro yet either, just if you're wondering, I don't have anything at the start of my videos yet, um, if I do make one or get one, it will be like 3 to 5 seconds, it won't be anything big, so <clears throat> don't worry about that, um, let's just get straight into this tutorial then. Um, you want to go into Photoshop, and uh, basically, what I'm showing you is how to do. I should probably come on here and show you. Not exactly like this, but kind of like these border style things um, going down the side of your background. Uh, they look really cool, and uh, they can really help out the look of your background. So let's go on Photoshop. Um, <clears throat> as you know, I'm on a Mac now, and I've just switched over, so. A lot of the command keys um, I know, but I'm not sure about, so I'll try not to use them. Um, but okay, once you've got to this kind of stage of your background, is where I'm going to put them in. So create a new layer wherever you want on your template. Um, go to the pencil, then choose. I'm going to choose white because it will stand out for now. Um, but then you're going to change it up. So what you want to do is start about up here in fact we'll zoom in first and I'm going to start about here that's a bit too much zoom actually let me zoom out a bit nope that's <laughs> wow fail right that'll do right pencil now I'm going to come to the top here just above the actual background click and then hold down the shift button and click again down there and then there's certain ways you can do it, you can do different shapes and all this stuff so I'm just going to go random and then hold shift again and kind of go diagonally this is the way to get it the same measurement all the time sorry for the MSN noises I forgot to turn them off but there's no point changing it now so uh, I'll just carry on um, and click again down there and you kind of just want to form this shape with the pen tool and then just join it up at the top again and go right click fill path and OK and delete path so that's our first kind of border shape and before we do anything else I'm gonna change it to black by inverting it and then paste in the layer style which I had on here and it kinda of matches it you don't have to use that kind of layer style you can do whatever effects you want on it but I'm basically showing you the basics of how to do it um, and hopefully it will help uh, so we've got kind of one border thing now we want to kind of add more so we add another layer and I'm gonna paste the layer style down already and um, you kind of want to just go for random like shapes but have a structure to it um, I'm just gonna go outside and then kind of make it an outline of that and uh, you can make it look really cool by doing it different ways um, so it can be hard to get it like um, like say for instance this part you want to try and get it the same sort of measurement between the layers which I'm not kind of doing right now so both lines kind of need to match up which isn't really working for me um, but I'm not going to try and do it perfect that would do wait that is pretty perfect <laughs> um, and fill path again and you kind of just want to do that until you think that's enough um, the one on my background now it's got a lot more effect to it but I won't show you that because it will take too long and I don't think I've got enough time for that um, but you kinda just wanna carry on testing things out um, and just adding random shapes and you can really make it look good if you you don't wanna go overboard and add loads and loads but if you just add the right textures, effects and all that stuff you can make it look really cool um, I'm just adding to it by connecting it all up and uh, making it look super duper um, this has been suggested quite a lot so hopefully this does help you out um, The reason, another reason I don't want to show you the one I've done on my background is because I don't want everyone using the same sort of thing as mine so I just want to kind of keep mine mine if that makes sense um, don't want to do that fill path so you kind of get the drift of it you just want to keep um, adding things to it 
if you wanted to make it like realistic um, I mine kind of this one kind of looks realistic because it's got textures on it and stuff and you basically want to add textures by I think the ones on mine the ones on mine are actually patterns um, and it looks pretty sick <clears throat> but if you can do your own patterns and stuff then go for it and you can end up getting something really cool like this um, it would look better if the actual background was a background I was actually doing but it's not so um, yeah um, I hope this helped and please like the video and all that stuff uh, hopefully I'll get some more tutorials out soon for you um, and I've got some good things coming for the 40k sort of special um, there's probably gonna be a few videos uh, a few things for that so look out for it and be patient and happy new year for the next two days or whatever it is um, and peace out strats